Hello and welcome to the gig at the Gathering Unplugged. Here we're going to be talking to artists that have played at Cowell Highland Gathering over the years. And in this session, it's going to be all about Scary Boar. I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Martin Gillespie, one of their founding band members. But before I have a chat with Martin and hear about what Scary Boar has been up to, we'd like to start off by playing one of their tracks. So here is Happy To Be Home. A massive thank you, Martin, for um, joining us today in this virtual um, cowl. It's obviously a wee bit um, odd doing it all online. We'd usually be, be chatting in the, the Cayley tent up in the top field. But we, we really appreciate you coming on on behalf of Scary Boar to chat. I'm looking forward to you know finding out what the band's been up to you know, over the last few months and, and what you're, you're planning to do next year as well. So I thought a nice way to start would just be to you know tell our, our viewers a bit about the band. I'm sure people will be interested in, in how Scary Boar came about and when you were formed. Yeah, of course, yeah. So thanks for having us on. It's, uh, as you say, it's strange times at the moment. Um, we've done a lot of uh, a lot of, sort of video online material just to try and keep, 
keep the interest going. Um, but yeah, Scary Boar, they've played, I've tried to think earlier on how often they've played Kyle Gavin, but it must be four or five times anyway throughout the years. Um, the band formed officially in 2005. Um, 2015, this is our 15 year anniversary, and we, we had planned uh, a show at Inverary Castle, but obviously with the the current climate with the uh, COVID nineteen, we had to we had to pull the plug in that sadly. But um, we did just launch our, our live album and stuff this year. Um, the band originally started in Ireland, the Tyree, with myself, uh, my brother Daniel, Alec Douglas, the singer, and Fraser West, and it was kind of just a bit of fun and going and playing the pubs and uh, <laughs> grew to grew to in the west, uh, all the western isles, over the Mull and up to Euston and Lewis and stuff. And we all went to university in Glasgow and we still kept performing and. Uh, it just kind of grew and grew from playing, you know, a lot of, sort of venues in Scotland, then starting to, to perform internationally. Um, in the last few years, a, a lot of our, our touring has been in the States, which has been great. And just we headed out to Oz last year for the first tour as well, which was great. So. Oh, fantastic. You'll be missing that this year then, obviously, with the, as you mentioned before, you know, this COVID-19 has put a massive um, yeah. you know, halt and a lot of plans. Were, were you planning on tours again this year, I suppose? Yeah, we should. We should be in the States right now, actually. So we should have been in the middle of that uh, right now for, for the whole August and then September as well. But um, ah, it's, kind of, it's kind of gotten because we had, a, we had a, a really big year planned just from, it would have been in Brady Castle onwards. It's going to be pretty flat out and with a lot of international stuff and a good man of Scottish tour as well and down in England. But um, ah, it's looking well. kind of scary for the next sort of six months because even into next year, we're meant to be in the States in January, which isn't happening, I, I, I severely doubt. And also, well, we're going to be doing Australia again in March, and that's already been cancelled as well. Oh. So it's it's kind of frightening for the next six months. Now. Absolutely, really tough times for well for everyone, but especially I think musicians and you know live performances at the moment. Yeah. But how have the band been coping through lockdown? You know, have you been keeping in touch virtually and still rehearsing somehow? Or yeah, we we, we have a band meeting every Thursday, so we've just been trying to keep in touch. So obviously, at the start we couldn't we couldn't meet up uh, when we came back from the states. We didn't see each other probably until. We done the TMF recording for the uh, for the Tiny Music Fest. I think that was June time. That was the first we'd all sort of seen each other. Um, but we done well, keeping in touch with meetings and doing some stuff online together and stuff. Just try to keep the interest going, going that way. But I say uh, uh, a few guys do teaching and stuff as well. So it's kind of everybody's kind of been keeping themselves busy doing wee different projects and stuff and writing as well, which has been good. So. Yeah, absolutely. It must be very strange for you all not seeing each other for such a, a long period of time after used to spending every every yeah. weekend, I would imagine, together. Totally. Um, it's, it's, it's the longest <laughs> I've been at home, so it's like, I'm used to being away. We, we're always away at weekends, so it's been it's been nice, but strange, been in Glasgow yeah. just all the time, even having Saturdays, like weekends, and you're just like... A bit of a novelty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and you've, of course, been doing your, your cocktail... Uh, make it online and become a newfound skill as a mix, mixologist. At, <laughs> and like that. I, I never, I never actually planned to do it. It was just one, one weekend. I was having a drink. And I thought, and I thought, well, let's go on and go on to scary more Facebook live and just start making cocktails. And it just kind of grew and grew. And folk were sending me bottles and never them. So, a good laugh. Oh well, I need to get. I'll need to send you a bottle of Harris gin, and uh, maybe next year you can come to Kill and have your own own cocktail stand. Or you probably prefer tiny gin, mind you. No, <laughs> but, no, no. But Harris gin's really very good, good as well. So. Very good. <laughs> have, them, have them both on the go, all the island gins. Um, oh, that's great. And and then of course, you know, during lockdown, you also released uh, Everyday Heroes, which yeah. was just phenomenal. Um, you know, just in case people aren't aware, you know, you wrote the tune. Um, in aid of the NHS, so a bit of it you can, you know, what inspired you really to to do that? Yeah, so it was uh, a good friend, and that's how uh, the chap who does all our merchandise just he just had the idea in my head. Uh, it's a Sunday night. He goes, "Have you? We're just looking at different ideas of what to do when you merch and stuff." He says, "What about doing that?" At that point, obviously the NHS was under pressure. So incredible job they were doing right at the very start of, of the breakout of COVID. So he just put the suggestion in about doing a a song for them or a tune for them. So I kind of woke up on the Monday morning, I hadn't slept well, I woke up really early. The idea was in my head, recorded it on my phone and then sent it to the boys in the band. And then by the Thursday, we'd sort of pulled most of it together. Just uh, Scott, with his other pipe on the band, he's got his own house studio. And a lot of the guys have got a lot of recording equipment at their house. So we all managed to record in different locations and then send it all to Scott, he pulled it all together. And Craig, uh, the fiddle player, he took the video together. So. 
Yeah, it was fantastic and nice to see that you had brought along, uh, you know, not just Scary Vore members, but other, you know, other friends, I suppose, other other bands involved in it as well. It was really nice to see yeah. everyone coming yeah. together. Well, I had the idea just to obviously wanted to try and generate as much money as we could for charity. So we thought more, the more friends and artists would get involved and Alfred Campbell involved as well. We just thought the bigger reach it's going to have. So, I mean, it, it done great with the amount of actual downloads and streams and stuff it done. It's, it's done really well, so. Yeah. And you were you were in the charts. You were right up there in the in the charts. Yeah, we ended up at number one in the Scottish charts. I, I couldn't mm-hmm. believe. It. I thought, but the week it sort of it sort of tailed out, and then on the Friday I was just I think it was just Friday dinner time. I was just making dinner and next went the voice went and we're, we're not went at number one in the Scottish charts. So I was like, fantastic. <laughs> oh no, it's fantastic and so nice as you you see, especially at that time the NHS were were under so much pressure and. I think yeah. everyone, you know, whether they're involved themselves or, or has a family or friend that uh, was on the front line at that point. So I'm, I know it would have been, yeah, yeah a, a really nice way of showing support. And it was lovely as well on the, the Thursday evening when everyone was going out to clap. And of course, I think there was one Thursday where you tried to encourage as many pipers out yeah. to yeah. the tune as well. Yeah, um, that, yeah. So, so yeah. managed to pull a video together with it all as well, get folks to send in all the videos of playing it. So it was, a, it was, an, it was great. Just, that was a great thing the Thursday, just hearing everybody play it and stuff so absolutely uh, just keeping the sort of music community together i suppose it yeah um yeah. at odd times as well um oh that's great so and then of course the other you know everyday heroes but you also have just released your a new album um yes. which, which just just very very recently um and was it recorded on your winter tour last year if i'm right and same yeah yeah that's right yeah we've done it um but it's actually we've been asked a lot and we've been meaning to do it for years to do an actual live album because Certainly when you're when you're touring all the time and people at gigs, they always ask for a live album just to try and get the, the live gig experience. So that, this was the first one, first full live album we've done. So we recorded it um, in our Scottish winter tour in December. Um, there, so just we recorded every gig and um, got it mixed um, out in the states with a guy that does our sound at times, and uh, aye, it turned out fantastic. So it's the first, uh, it's it- first time we've done it in in, in recording. In that situation when it's all live and not in a studio, so it was a, it was a different, a different experience for us, but it was great. So. Oh, absolutely! I, li- I was listening to it the other day, and it, it's fantastic. And I, what I liked about it is there's a there's a track as well recorded in Dunoon, if I'm right in saying. I think it's yes, that's it's right. Yeah. Hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, I'm sure each town um would have appreciated the track recorded if they yeah. were were at that gig, um, which is great. And then of course, you know, talking about Dunoon, obviously we're here, um, talking about Kewo gathering so um, yeah the band played if I'm right in saying the band played back in the early days uh, yes. of, our, of our Kayleigh tent up in the top field and then yes. most recently um, you were with us you headlined last year on the yes. on the Saturday which was was great and great to see how the the band had also evolved over the years and you've got yes. quite a line up now and um, I, I know that the the crowd absolutely absolutely loved you and we'd love to have you have you back one day as, as well um, you, so how how is it from a, a band point of view playing at Cowell? Do you enjoy the enjoy the event? Uh, it's, always, it's always even right from the very start. Always, always a great atmosphere. And it, for it being during the day as well, because generally you think, oh, a gig during the day, it's never going to have the same atmosphere at night. But it's always always rammed and jumping with people. So and a nice crowd to play for as well. I think everybody because it's a because of the kind of event it is. There's so much happening. People are right up for it as well. And it's a wee break probably from all the competitions and stuff for people to go and listen Absolutely. to some live music. So. It's, uh, no, I thoroughly enjoyed it last year. It was great because generally we've always found that August seems to be the time we were in the States. So we've missed it quite a few years. So it was great last year that we were back in time to do it. So I thought we all thoroughly enjoyed it. So. Oh, it was it was great to have you. And then, of course, you're involved with, um, well, very involved with Tidy Music Festival and, and Open Live as well. So you, yeah. Yeah. you know, appreciate the, the importance of these, you know, events in Argyle um, too and, you know, just what, what they do for the area and, um, obviously, a shame that both both events were were obviously missed this year. But have you got yeah, plans yeah. To, plans next year to to go ahead? All been well. Yeah, well, ID said. I mean, the, the tickets for ID have just been transferred over to next year. Open, we're not we've not not really discussed it yet. Just just in the current climate, um, obviously yeah. we were meant to have Inverary this year, which was was just we decided to take a break for Open this year. And we're doing Inverary Castle, so. Um, but nothing about that. We'll be certainly tidy scheduled again for next year. So yeah. fing- fingers crossed we can get all the events I, back next year. I know, I know. It'll just be, I think it'll be so nice if we can for everyone to be able to get back yeah. to these events and, and hear live music um, again, which would yeah just be fantastic. But well, thank you so much, Martin. It's been it's been great That's to 
get an insight in, in Scary Board and what you've been up to and um, yeah, hearing about your new album, of course. And uh, assuming you can go onto your website and have a look at all your merchandise and, and yeah. your albums on there as well. Yeah, everyone's there and links to, to download and stream and, and buy everything's on there. So check okay. it out, yeah. Fantastic. Well, I think it would be quite fitting. I think we'll, we'll, you know, if you could, would you mind giving us a tune just now? Have you got? I'll give you a tune. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a nice, a nice way just to uh, finish off. Although can't have you on the stage at Kill, but hopefully this is the, the next best thing. No worries. I'll try a wee. I'll give you a wee blast every day, heroes, and then. Lovely. A wee, a wee tune I wrote in lockdown as well. So. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Martin. It was lovely to, to have you no on with us today. Um, and we yeah, very much appreciate you giving us a wee tune as well. So thank you. Thank you for having me. All the best.